good day good people of god i hope you all are doing well i am back with another word back with another message from the lord he did call me to get on today to deliver this message for you all this is a new word um a new message as soon as i open the bible i knew as soon as i open the word it's always in the word it's always in the bible when you open your word your answers is right there so i knew something said okay 1124 today is 1124 i said okay god what is what is significant about 1124 and i knew the holy spirit was leading me to open the bible so I turned to 1124 and it lands on Ezekiel. So unknowingly, Ezekiel is talking about building, building um, a new city. And the city that um, in Ezekiel that they are building is for, the is for Israel, for Israel. So good. God is so good. He is so good. He is like so strategic everything that god puts together is like the details god is in every detail god is in the midst of every detail when you open your heart and your mind to him you have to be willing to open him and allow open up to god and allow him and allow him to enter and allow him to have full control over your mind and over your body so that way you're not thinking of things negative you're not thinking of things that are flesh out of your flesh operating from your own natural thoughts that you know like some things can be coming to your mind and it just don't seem right like you just can't put it together but god you don't have to because god has all the answers he has the final say he has control over every situation and when you just open your hands and give it to God he lays the foundation he lay he is the foundation he is the rock just lay it at the altar lay it at his feet and he will pour into you he will pour into you he will fill you up with the oil with fresh oil fresh anointing fresh revelation his word water fresh water he will renew our hearts and he will renew our minds so it, it, it's so so I turn to 11:24 in my Bible and I am reading out of the NIV if um, anyone wants to know what I'm reading out of today because I know everyone has their specific um, Bible that they like to read out of verses and things like that. So God is saying that, He's building, he's building something in your life. Whatever you have been asking and praying for, whatever God wants to do in your life, the word for today is he is building. We did speak about this in a previous message, but God is building. He is building, he is building the kingdom. He is building you, whether it's your spiritual gifts, whether it's a new home, a new place, a new land, but he literally, it didn't take nothing but like 15 minutes or less and you know already in prayer already seeking him because when you seek you will find when you seek you will find when you seek god you will find what you are looking for um so yeah i'm just going to um what we say ezekiel no. 11:24 and then today's date is 11:24 like I said. And then something just spoke to me, like the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and also remember like 2024 is coming. The year 24 is coming. So it just all, you know, God can be doing a lot of things. We might not see everything so swift, so fast all the time. But you be surprised because God works miracles. When he wants to do something, if it's, that, if it's the timing for it, if it's the timing for it, God knows you're ready for it. He will do it. Um, so it says in 1123, the page is 1123. It's Ezekiel 
1, 48, 30. And it says the gates of the new city. So God is building a new city in your life. Whatever that looks like. A new place. A new place. New land. Maybe new gifts. Whatever. It could be a business opportunity. Whatever it is that you have been praying for. Standing for maybe years ago. You have journaled. You have prayed. You have wrote down your prayers. It says these will be the e exits of the city beginning on the north side which is 4500 cubits long building they are building a new city the gates of the city will be named after the tribes of israel it will be named after the tribes of israel so i'm just going to cut it short because this um short chapter that god gave us um is not long so I skip down to 35, 48, 35. The distance all around would be 1,800 cubit, cubits. And the name of the city from that time on will be the Lord is there. And if that didn't blow my mind, if that do not blow your mind, this word is not for you. Remember every message that the Lord gives gives us is not for everyone you know i thank you for all the people that share comment you know give their testimony email me and things like that prayers your prayer your prayers are needed for the people that are righteous for the people that believe in jesus christ and follower followers of jesus christ um for all the people that unfollow i thank you too I thank you for the people that unfollow, that's only here for to get their ears tickled, you know, um, to get their ears scratched. I thank you for unfollowing. Please do, because God will remove you and he will lead you to remove yourself because this ministry is not for you. This ministry is not what you need, you know, and especially if there is any witches amongst this ministry god is not going to leave you here you're going to the fire of god is just going to burn you burn you <laughs> it's just, you're just going to burn so any unclean spirits that don't belong here that's not wishing and praying good upon their brothers and sisters or this whole entire ministry god is going to block you out so you don't belong here
me to be strong in my walk and my faith and understanding God. But um, she, he, he will, God will reveal to you who your spouse is and you will know them by the spirit. You will know them by the spirit. But if you, if you're, if you're re not receiving messages from God, it's because you, there's a blockage. There's a roadblock. God gave me that a few months ago. There's a roadblock. Um,
Rededicate yourself to the Lord. Commit your heart and your mind, your will and your emotions to the Lord. Turn it over to him. And he will rebuild you. He will transform you. He will rebuild you. He will transform you. Draw near to him and he will draw near to you. So yeah, this this is a um beautiful anointed oil. I I have seen just the anointing is already here. The 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 fire of the Lord, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Also, it was confirmation about um they coming. <laughs> it was confirmation about building. Cause then he took me to um oh here they come he coming they coming <laughs> he took me to, was it chronicles I don't think it was chronicles where did he take us and he just I I just had my no um wait wait uh cupcakes but it was speaking about one of these scriptures. I wasn't even planning on adding that to the, but it was just another confirmation. God wanted me to deliver that. It was about building, building. Oh, Solomon, he just brought it back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. But it was about building, Solomon building the temple for the Lord, the house for the Lord, for people to go to church. So that is what God is doing in many, 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 many people's lives right now. You will know who this is for, because this is the new trend. This is going to be a transition. It's going to be a change. And also, 1111, 111, God, when I mean it's so heavy with him speaking about 111, highlighting the number 111, the prophetic number, very, very heavy. And that means transition. His miracles is at the door. His miracles is at the door for you to go through. It's coming, it's happening, it's going to happen. Um, so that was so funny how I went from the Ezekiel. I went from Ezekiel to to that about Solomon. So I'm gonna go. I am gonna go. Um, and I hope you all hear this with your spiritual ear. And I hope it is useful to you. I hope it encourages you. Um, I hope this change your train of thought, your thinking um, towards the Lord. And that you draw closer to him. And you repent and you turn. Ask for forgiveness. God is always there and open to forgive you and love you. To give you everything that you need. Everything that you need. Um, because he will restore you, he will build you. That's why I said the building is for everything, not just one thing, not just one thing. You you will already know. You will already know who it is for. Um, but I think that is it. I think that is it. Nothing can be added to God's word. Nothing taken away from God's word. We love Him. We glorify Him. We thank Him. At all costs, we lay down ourselves daily. We submit to him. We crucify our flesh. We ask him, crucify our flesh, renew our hearts and renew our minds so we can go forward with the day because we want to go forward. We don't want to backtrack. We don't want to backtrack. We don't want to go back. We're looking at what's in front of us. We're looking at the future, the present. We're not looking at the past. God has forgot about the past. We are moving forward here. We are going through those doors, miracle and signs, those open doors that God has for us because he's transitioning, he's building new things. And that's what he gave us. That is the word. Um, that is the word. So blessings, peace, and love to you all. Until next time, when God gives me a message for you.